This is what we're gonna make today. It's a lead hammer and it's got an aluminum handle. I made a 3D pattern in order to pour the handle. Um, so I make up a sand mold and then pour that in aluminum and then I have to have a mold to pour the head. And so this is a permanent mold that I made to um, cast the head. So as the head gets beaten up and ruined, I can just uh, melt it down and then re-pour it. Now in order to design these molds, I did them in um, Fusion 360, designed it in there and then uh, converted it in Cura and then printed it on my 3D printer. So I'm not gonna show any of that, just thought uh, somebody that did this kind of project might be interested. Now this weighs about a pound. Uh, it's kind of hard to measure it because you know I weighed it on a scale, tried measuring it, you know, the holding the handle at one end and it was uh, a little under a pound and then kind of held it up where it would weigh the handle too and it was, you know, well over a pound. So it's right around a pound. If you do just the head, it's like 500 grams and like 0.9 pounds or something like that. I'm sure those don't convert to each other. But so anyway, you can see it turned out just a little bit wrinkly here. Uh, that's because I poured it cold. You'll see see me do that. Uh, I got a little bit of shrinkage in my handle here too. But again, you know, this is kind of a prototype, and it's you know it's going to be a working hammer. So, all right, well, let's get started. So this is the pattern for these uh, lead hammer molds, and. When I, when I ram these up, I've got to uh, plug up this end right here so that I've got a smooth uh, pattern there and I'm not backfilling that and messing up my draft. So I'll do that and then when I flip it over, that piece will fall out and I can ram it from the other side. Okay, I think it's just about hot enough.
Right, this one looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of a bit of shrinkage right there, or maybe some sand fell in, but I think that's shrinkage, but it'll still work for what I need it to be. Those seem to have turned out very well. These are the parts right out of the mold, except for I cut the sprues off of them there and there and then right here on the end the handle had a little shrinkage right here and right in there you can see a few little places that it had a little shrinkage which you know i'm not real happy about that but you know it's going to work fine for a hammer handle so the next thing i've got to do is get this flash uh sanded off or filed off and um, get these sprues sanded down <laughs> I had a little sand cave in right here before I poured it, so I got to clean that up. And this is, you know, this is the part that has to seal against the handle in order to make a seal when you're pouring it. So I got to get this pretty close. Okay, so I got a pretty good gap there. If I take that out and put it together, I'm doing pretty good there. As you there as you can see so I've got to do I got to if I put this in I then have a pretty good size gap so I've got to work on getting those fitted up now that helped quite a bit just kind of going around it and cleaning off the rough areas it's actually kind of sticking on there now Alright, so let me try. Got a few places here. I've got the mold all clamped up, and I've got a pretty good fit. It's not perfect. Um, I figured I'll try pouring it, and if it leaks, then I'll do it again. I'll fit it up better and try it again. I'm going to try pouring the mold cold, and I'm thinking if it's cold, um, anything that leaks tries to leak through these little thin areas will probably freeze in place. So anyway, I'm going to try that, and we'll see how it works. Let me get the lead melted. <laughs> Okay, so it turned out a little wrinkly in places, but you know, this hammer's just gonna get beat up because it's a lead hammer. So as long as it stays on there, I think it's gonna be great. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this sprue off. Just like that. I'm gonna leave that. When I start hitting stuff with it, that'll flatten out. So I think this is ready to put into service. Well, I'm sure you'll be seeing this in some upcoming videos. Hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.